All right, y'all, so I don't even know where the heck to start with this, right? So obviously not a huge, big production type video. I'm literally recording this off my phone inside of the hotel room that we're staying in right now. But I just wanted to share more so this story with y'all, kind of what's been going on the past couple um, weeks or so. Um, and just how impactful being able to trade and make money from anywhere at any time in the world has been, especially in this situation, how it could be super beneficial for you guys. Kind of just like a little motivational thing for you guys to keep going if you're on the journey of trying to become a profitable trader, just starting your journey, becoming a trader, just to kind of give you guys a real life scenario where it's extremely beneficial besides just being able to make a good amount of money, right? So just to kind of go backward in the story, keep in mind, sorry if I look a little rough, it just kind of goes along with the story. But, um, so me, my wife, my daughter, we live in Houston. If you guys did not know, a couple of days ago, Houston got hit by a hurricane. Power's been out for about four uh, days right now. Um, and for a lot of people, like over 1.2 million people, power's still out um, and we're included inside that. Um, but nonetheless, right? So kind of just rewinding back in this story. My sister got married in last Sunday. Right, well, this this past Sunday, the hurricane hit the following Monday. So we flew out to Jersey because my family all lives in Jersey. We flew out to Jersey on that Friday. So we there from Friday. We're supposed to come back on Monday, literally before the hurricane hit. The hurricane was supposed to hit at three o'clock. Our flight was supposed to land like 10 a.m. or something like that Monday morning. So we'd be home to at least be in the comfort of our own home while the hurricane was hitting and things like that. And we'd be cool living. You know what I'm saying? Vibing, right? But we had our flight booked for that Monday. Wedding happened, everything was cool, happy, love, yeah, smiley, joy, right? That Monday morning comes, we wake up, we got alerted that said our flight has been canceled. Uh, so we're like, what the heck are we gonna do now? We're stuck in Jersey at this point. Keep in mind, just a little backstory. I'm from Jersey. I actually hate up north. I hate Jersey. I hate New York because I grew up there and I don't, I don't like the cold. And I just, it's not my type of place, right? The, the speed and all that stuff. I don't really like all that stuff that kind of happens out like, up, up here, up north. <laughs> So we're like, dang, we're stuck here. So we're, we're keep in mind, we're scrambling at five o'clock in the morning to find um, another flight so we can get out of here. Cause keep in mind, our, our hotel was kind of booked up at that point. Um, so we're scrambling to find a flight. We find a flight in New York. So we drive to New York, it's like an hour, 20 minutes away. We drive to New York for the next flight. We hop onto the flight and <laughs> everybody boards the flight. We're about to take off. Somebody comes in, it's not even a flight attendant, it's just like a regular, I don't even know what, who the heck it was, but they said, uh, yeah, flight's been canceled, everybody has to get off. We're like, all right, now what the heck is we gonna do? At this point, we're in New York now, we're not in Jersey anymore, so we're in New York, stuck, stranded, need to find a hotel ASAP, right? So we find a hotel, we find another flight. Keep in mind, we were kind of smart in the beginning because we had, when I, we booked that second flight in New York, I also was like, oh, Let's book an additional flight just in case that one gets booked because we know if that one gets canceled, um, the other flights would all get booked up really fast. So that's like two flights getting booked back to back and we weren't the only flight. So it's probably all the flights to back to Houston would probably get booked up because all the canceled flights had to put those, their passengers on the next flights out. So we did ahead of time and booked another flight. Um, at that same time, we booked that first flight that we got kicked off. So we had that flight for the next day, I think that, that next day was Tuesday or whatever, or Wednesday, whatever day, I've lost track of days at this point. But, um, so we had booked that, but we still had to find a place to, to, to stay. Keep in mind, I'm a little bit bougie when it comes to hotels. I didn't notice this since I moved out of my parents' house. I'm very much like a clean freak type person. I don't like, I can't do dirty. I don't like old type hotels. I don't like nothing. It needs to be a nice hotel. And to find that in New York City, as y'all know, it's pretty expensive. I'm talking about easily twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a night. And we need a, a suite, right? Because we can't just have one room, like a hotel room that has you just walking into bed and bathroom. We need a separate room because my daughter goes to sleep at seven o'clock in the um, at night, every single night. So we can't go to sleep at seven o'clock every night. So we need another room to put her to sleep in then us to have a living room, that type of stuff so we can chill until it's time for us to go to sleep. So that then boosts up the price even more and keep in mind we're booking the same day. So we're looking at hotels that's like freaking 1,500, 2,000 miles a night. And um, it's like basically our only option at that point. Yeah, we could stay at my parents' house or I have family up there, we could stay at their house. My parents have, um, like pets and things like that and, and as y'all know my wife or as y'all might not know my wife is extremely allergic to cats and dogs 
So that would be fun. We couldn't really stay there. So um, anyways, we had to book a hotel, we found a hotel, um, things like that. Keep in mind, we didn't have clothes either. We only packed for the wedding. So we barely had any clothes at all. We didn't pack for any of this. Um, so there's that as well. This, this is all part of the story. So um, nonetheless, we find a hotel that has a suite. Uh, we were in the we were in the airport. Keep in mind, we're at the airport looking for hotels. So we're at the airport for like three hours trying to find a hotel that's up to like our standards that also have a, a room and it also isn't trying to charge us five thousand dollars a night because we're in basically Manhattan, which is New York City. So finally found one, um, get settled in it, and um, we're like, okay, we'll just catch the next flight out, which is that that additional flight that that we have booked before in preparation. But then we're also realizing there's no freaking power at our house. Like the power has been out. It's still out right now as I'm making this video. The power has been out for over 1.2 million people for the past five days or so, which is absolutely freaking crazy. We'll talk about that a little, a little later on. So us realizing that we don't have power and Houston is having a heat wave right now as well. So it's like 170 or the feel like it's like 107 degrees, which is absolutely crazy. We don't want to go back home to uh no AC, no power. And I don't even think we can get in our house because our garage is like battery powered and I never bring my key anywhere to actually open up our house. So um, there's that. But anyways, so we're like, okay, we probably just gotta stay out here. So we just have to keep, we just had to keep extending our stay here, which obviously it's not cheap and we have to buy clothes so we can like, live out here. Um, but the caveat of all this and why I made this video is just me kind of coming to the realization that I'm extremely blessed to be able to kind of turn this into a mini vacation type thing, be able to buy literally any amount of clothes that we need, um, be able to afford literally any type of hotel we wanted, like on the on the fly. If y'all could, y'all could look up prices right now for New York um, hotels that are suites, not just like you walk in, but talking about one or two bedroom suites. Um, and not cheap hotels, like four or five star hotels. Cause at this point, like I said, I'm pretty much need freaking, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can't stay at like a, I don't know. I can't stay at dirty hotels or low class hotels. Call me bougie, call me whatever. I just don't know what it is, but it's just me. I can't lay my head down in that thing. I think bed bugs is all over me. I think it's freaking people finna kill me in that type of thing. So I don't know. I just got extremely bougie, but, um, it's extremely expensive and we've just been able to without me even blinking an eye like yeah we'll just go there we can just add another night just add another night buy another flight you know what i'm saying if that one doesn't work out buy another flight like they t just having that freedom to be able to move around freely we could literally go fly out to freaking florida right now and spend a week in miami we can go i was about to say dubai but i'm not going to dubai we thought about it but dubai is like 130 degrees right now we're not free to do that um, but we could, we have so much freedom to be able to go to any of these places, pay any amounts of money to do it, and still, realistically, not really worry about the money, um, and still be able to make money. Like I was telling you guys, the reason I'm really making this video is just to kind of give you guys that motivation, because at this, and there's been so many other instances where be, being a uh, day trader, being able to make money from living anywhere inside the world, at any time of the world, or at any time of the day, has been extremely beneficial. And this is just a perfect example of it because I can literally still trade. I literally just sent a trade out um, last week to the inner circle um, that literally made, um, well, it could have made, I ended up closing out, I break even, but it could have made me literally more money than um, we've spent the entire time of being out here. Keep in mind, we've been out here for about a week now, not including that first amount of time we're out here um, for the wedding, right? So, um, yeah, I just kind of want to come on here and give you guys that story of just being able to still support my family, still be able to have comfortable living conditions in spite of us not having power in our house, in spite of us being in a completely different state, in spite of us not preparing for any of this, in spite of all this being the on the fly type of thing, being able to buy and book out nice hotels, um, be able to book. At this point, we've probably booked like five or six flights <laughs> at this point. Um, I think we should be able to get refunded for them though. But um, either way, we've been able to book just flights whenever um, to be able to try and get home, but then realizing we don't want to go home because it's like literally no power in the house. Um, I don't know. I just really, I had it when this, when this morning, um, just like during my prayer meditation and stuff like that, I just was thinking in my head, like I'm extremely blessed to be able to have the freedom to do something like this, be able to just, 
technically have a vacation, not planned, but completely funded and not have to worry about the money at all. And it's simply because of being a day trader, being able to print money from anywhere, being able to work for freaking 30 minutes a day, and make enough money to pay for a week long vacation in New York City, just off the fly of things, right? Um, but yeah, that's really it. I didn't really come on here to show y'all no charts, do none of that. This is more just an inspirational post for all you people that are out here grinding, that are trying to learn how to trade, that are trying to get better at trading, that are trying to make it happen in trading. Um, if you guys are feeling like, oh, is this worth it? I know it's super hard, super stressful in the beginning for me when I was trading or getting into trading. It was the most stressful thing, the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Um, it took me about two and a half to three years to be able to become consistently profitable. And then obviously at this point now, I've been trading for about seven years now, uh, where I'm at the point where I can make 10, 12, 13, $14,000 a day if I wanted to trading um, from anywhere in the world, at any time in the world, right? Um, I just want to kind of give you guys that push to help you guys stay consistent with it. It definitely pays off in the end. This stuff is literally living a dream, being able to do things like this. Now, obviously, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in New York, as I explained before. Um, I don't want, I want to be home. Our pool literally just got done being built while we were away. So we haven't even got to jump in it. Um, you guys know if you guys have been following me on Instagram that we've been super excited for it. It's taken a little bit, like, a rope two months now to get built and we've just been super excited to actually go hop in the pool i'd rather be home in the pool but um i'm extremely blessed to not be able to not have to stay at a house with no power no ac not have to fly back home um into bad living conditions not have to rush back home i can we can stay here we can go to miami tomorrow we can go to cali tomorrow we can go freaking canada but well, we don't have our passports um <laughs> but we can go anywhere in the country technically right now um, and stay there for 10 months and not have to worry about the, the money at all just because of the position that day trading has put me into. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to come on here and just give you guys a little motivation. Um, also give you guys a little bit of update because you guys know I really haven't been on social media very frequently or at all. Um, just because of the kind of this whole situation and just, just been a lot of um, uncertainty as far as we don't know if we're gonna stay here, go to another state, go back home, go whatever. It's just been a whole bunch, so I haven't really been on social media. But I did also want to update y'all and just keep you guys. Like I said, the main reason was for this was just to give y'all inspiration, give y'all motivation to keep pushing. If you guys are into day trading, if you're trying to get into day trading, I'm telling you guys, 100% worth it. 10 out of 10 would recommend, no matter how long it takes, no matter how strong you want to quit, no matter how difficult it is, you will thank yourself a year, two, three years from now, because you'll be in the same position, hopefully not being stuck, in a different state, hopefully not um, having to stay or do things like this because of a natural disaster or anything like that. And obviously praying for the people in Houston uh, or the people affected by the hurricane. Um, but hopefully you don't have to go through this type of experience, but you'll just be able to have the freedom that comes with being a day trader, with being um, able to take care of your family and provide a better lifestyle than you could have ever imagined. But that's really it. I ain't gonna talk your head off too much. Um, yeah, it's just been absolutely, it's been, a, it's been a hard journey of becoming a day trader, but 100% is worth it when times like this happen and I am able to be put in the position to take care of my family. Um, and not just take care of my family, but us being able to thrive, right? We're literally staying downtown in a suite at a very nice hotel. Just, I don't know, don't, going day by day, we're probably gonna go downstairs and go shopping because my wife is out of clothes. Like, it's, I don't know, it's just super cool to have this type of freedom. But that's about it. I do feel like I really should do this even though I haven't opened up the inner circle in a very, very long time. It's been closed for about three weeks now uh, or four weeks now, I believe. But I think I'm gonna open up some spots just for this video, just because um, I wanna be able to help people get to this point. I've helped a lot of people do it. Obviously in my inner circle, I have people that have joined the inner circle three months ago and sent me screenshots for $40,000 payouts. I have people that have joined it, um, literally started trading at, knew absolutely nothing about trading and join it and five months later they're consistently every two weeks getting ten thousand dollar payouts which is super super dope um so i've obviously been able to help people get to this point already but i feel like um i want to help more people now so i think i'm gonna open up a couple spots for it uh, i think about five or six spots i'm open up for the inner circle just for the people that's watching this video so if you guys want to join the inner circle i'll leave the link for inside description down below if there are spots get it if there's not spots i'm sorry can't open it up for everybody unfortunately 
but like I said, just click the link down below if you guys don't know what's included inside the inner circle. Not only do you get all of my courses, which will teach you guys how to trade exactly like I trade, but every single time I hop into a trade, exactly while I'm out here, um, no matter where I'm at, y'all will be able to hop into that same trade with me. We also have three other coaches. We have a crypto coach. We also have a um, futures coach or two more futures coaches, so three coaches total. And we have a dedicated trading psychologist in there as well. That'll help you master your trading psychology because you guys know um psychology is the hardest part when it comes to trading so that's why i gave access to that in my inner circle so everybody in there has access to our dedicated trading psychologist which is super super dope um yeah just a bunch of things realistically anything pop anything everything that you technically need to become a profitable trader um is inside the inner circle and that's why it's always full that's why i never have a problem um getting people to join it it's always full i'm never begging for people to join it um like if you guys have tried probably for the past like five or six months it's the spots are always extremely limited but i'll open up a couple spots right now i don't know if you guys hear my daughter crying back there she's in the other room with my wife there um i think she's doing her hair right now so we can go shopping but um anyways yeah if you guys want to get access to inner circle we're live every single morning as well in the inner circle which is super super dope um but yeah click the link side description down below hopefully this video motivates you keeps you going kind of lights your 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 motivation to keep striving through um the hard times when it comes to trading um because i'm telling you guys 100 percent pays off but that's been it i'm gonna stop talking our heads off prayers up to everybody that was also affected by the hurricane hopefully our power comes back on soon and we can actually go home and i can jump inside my pool because i can't wait to do it but yeah that's about it see you on the next video